In this video, we want to take a look at installing R and RStudio on a Mac. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the R project. And we'll download R. Pick something near us. I'm going to pick uh, Case Western Reserve. And I'm going to download R for Mac OS. And I'm going to get the latest package. And install it. And after it's installed, I should be able to come in and find it. It's right here. R is an interpreted language, uh, which means that we write instructions and we need this interpreter uh, to interpret those instructions that we've we've typed. Um, this is different from a compiled language where after we wrote the code we would run it through a compiler and then create like an executable or whatever but that's not the case where we have an interpreted language here. So let's give it the command version. And notice that we're in the R console right now so we're working directly with the interpreter and we get the version back. We're on major version 4. We'll take any ver uh, minor version greater than 4.0, so 4.12 was the latest. It was the one that we downloaded. And if we're in here, we can issue uh, some instructions. So we can create a variable. We can assign to that variable the number 3, and then we can get that variable data back. Okay, so it took this set of R code, interpreted it, and did what I asked it to do. If I'm troubleshooting, um, this is a good place to start. So if I have RStudio installed and it's not working like I expect it to work, I can come to our console and I can uh, actually you know, type some instructions in here and see what the data I get back. If I get the accurate data back, then I know that the R interpreter and the R language is working correctly. And there's a, some kind of a problem between um, RStudio and, and the interpreter. Um, but in this case, everything seems to be working well, so let's go quit this. And let's install our studio. We want our studio. We want our studio desktop. And we want this open source edition because it is free. We'll download it for the Mac. And after it's installed, we can launch RStudio. And we are now inside of the RStudio IDE. So with this RStudio IDE, we get all of the goodies that we get with an IDE. So we get syntax highlighting, uh, we get the ability to save and load um, instructions and execute files and uh, things like that. So all that goodness that we get from an IDE, we get, we get here. Um, 
it has a few different options, terminal, uh, console, terminal, and jobs. Uh, we're going to mostly work in uh, console. All right, and then here we can enter the same uh, thing that we did in the, the regular R console. Okay, and our RStudio IDE is accurately communicating with the interpreter uh, and it's interpreting our instructions and doing what we ask it to do. So at this point, uh, again, if we were having trouble here, we would want to go back to uh, the regular R and try our instructions there to make sure it's the problem with the IDE and not the interpreter. But everything seems to be running well here. So we can close up and we have everything successfully installed.